marks the first night of Hanukkah. Love wow. it. So if Yay. you're celebrating, we here at The Real want to wish you an amazing festival of lights. Yes. yes. Speaking of the holidays, if you're looking for the perfect gift, check this out. Remember Rachel Dolezal, the self-proclaimed African-American woman who was forced to resign from her job after her parents revealed she was actually a white woman? We even had her on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember. Oh, I hate well, I hate. she's making headlines again, this time for selling a black history calendar just in time for the holidays. Oh. The calendar, which is being sold for on her website, for 20 bucks, features pictures of Rachel next to inspirational quotes, like this one for the month of December. It says, stay woke and ready to change the world. You never know when an important opportunity will arise. Y'all, Twitter is having a field day with the calendar, with user Van R. Newkirk, the second tweeting quote, will be purchasing each of my loved enemies a Rachel Dolezal calendar for Christmas. So wrong. I'm so confused. <laughs> so <laughs> Wow. What do you guys think about this? Will you, will, will this you buy crazy. it? Will you... no. So I take it, I take it that I'm assuming, is she making the calendar because she needs some money? Pro well, like, yeah. why I don't know, what? maybe. She's well, selling a lot of things actually on her website. She's selling but lollipops. Right. She's selling lollipops. Ah. No way. Uh, yeah. Soap. There's yeah. soap. Yeah, she wants you to yeah. put okay, this is really dumb, and a part of my ignorance, because yes. I didn't go on the website and actually look at what she's selling. Yes. Um, are they all black related? Well, mm -hmm. the, the, the calendar is. The calendar and is, she does, yeah, they're not all black related. And Lollipops, the interesting I mean, thing what is about that? the calendar. Yeah, let's be honest though, if there's anybody who knows a good soap that's gonna remove like skin makeup, <laughs> it's gonna be Rachel. Uh, I don't <laughs> know about that, but. She wear <laughs> Okay, wait, we're really just gonna say, sit here and act like some of the colors that she's come out in is... Well, well she's actually said she's tanned, so she, oh, doesn't okay. wear, she doesn't wear blackface from what I know. No, it was she's blackface, like tan. Spray tan. Tan. Like, it's real tan sometimes. Yeah. Well, uh, your face, I cannot. I, I, I honestly, I didn't... I know that I probably said this when we had Rachel on the show, I didn't have an issue with her saying that, you know, she obviously loves the culture. There are a lot of people that have been raised in black communities by black families that have adapted the culture. And I totally understand that. My only issue with, with, with her was lying. It was the, the not saying the truth. You can say I'm white and I love black culture. I'm totally down for that. I'm Latina and I love black culture. But the problem was- There's a difference between lying, like you're perpetrating something yes. that isn't true. It was yep. the lying part. The problem so I don't even trust the dates on that calendar. Inherently <laughs> believe The lies. Right. Right. Like it was her. It was her that inherently believed. Well, this is the thing about the black history calendar, okay? Look at, just, can we show it again? It's like, it's more pictures of her. She's like the head. And then, you know, her only history facts are like within the days. It's you just can a barely lie. See. It's a lie. So it's like, that's not really black history. Like, black history calendars to me, you got Martin Luther King, yes, you Harry, got yeah, Ida Wells. Why you are we looking at you? Harriet Robinson. Right. Like, why, why are we looking at you for black history? Like, I just don't. Like, <laughs> I get it if you want to praise people that actually did do things for black history. Like, you know, then you can put out something like, I actually respect that. Yeah. Right. Like, you got to give it up to those poses, though. Those poses are, Not I mean, they're, she's giving you full-on 90s yeah. barbers on. Yeah, uh, but then don't call it black history. Call it Rachel Dolezal history or that something is, like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's... So question, wait, exactly. the calendar is specifically for black history? That's what she said? That's what she, she's saying. It's a black history oh, calendar. I don't but the understand. the quotes don't say anything That's what about I mean. Yeah. Black. yeah. I mean, she has, like, a few quotes in the days. Okay. Like, like, maybe on the 12th, she has something like, you know, Ralph Emerson's birthday or something okay. like that. Or, you know, but it's not, like, a full-on... I think my gut is saying, you know, she has two kids. I think she just had yeah, a baby. baby. Was yeah. she pregnant when she was on her show? Yeah, she was. I can remember. Mm -hmm. And I think she adopted a son as well. So maybe she's just finding ways to make to just, make money. Yeah, but be true about yeah, it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know, no, I'm just trying to I say know, something make sense black of it. culture is a beautiful you thing. You know, sell fashion over clothes. I mean, they looking for people. I, I, I can't with you. At Live Love Laugh Serena 24 says, ah! I enjoy it. If that's what rocks her boat, so be it. Let the woman express herself. Nothing wrong with that. All of a sudden, everything is an issue. Sheesh. I People agree. need to learn how to breathe. I agree with that. I gotta say, as much as I'm sitting here joking, I honestly love that we live in a world where you could 
say, do whatever it is you want. Like, I'm not staying up. I'm not, she's not keeping me from sleeping. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, if yeah. it's gonna make you happy and you're gonna be a better mom to your kids and be, and do that, then let somebody just live. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but don't I'm live just on- I'm not buying it. My, hey. Yeah, I think that's what we're saying, Jeannie. Like, don't live on my history. My history is real. My history is serious. That's all we're saying, yeah. so. Yeah. And Miss Jaunty <laughs> said, she agrees. She says, nope, this is sad. It's one thing to love black people. It's another thing to use our culture to make money. <laughs> it's like, maybe she's going, I, I'm just trying to look at the I know. Make her we're trying to read. Okay. Trying yeah, to we justify it. When it comes to seeing your family during the holidays, should people leave their booze at home? Listen to this. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez recently rekindled their relationship and are getting ready to celebrate Christmas. However, they may not be celebrating Together, according to sources, Justin claims that this time around he's dedicated to being a better boyfriend to Selena, but not everyone is buying it. A family source told People, quote, Selena's family is still not happy about seeing about her seeing Justin. Selena doesn't bring Justin to any family events. Selena is spending Christmas with her family. As of now, Justin is not invited. So ladies, wow. when is the right time to bring a significant other around during the holiday season? I'm just, what, I what just, are you guys saying? You guys are saying two months? Two, two, two years. Two, two, years. Okay. two years. Two, two years. years. I think there, okay, That's first a long of all, time. I think That's that there time. is a certain protocol. It depends on whose house you're going to. Like, if you go to grandma's house, bring that, the person that you've been in a long term or you're serious yeah. about. Your IT house is where you could bring your boo of the month, yeah, okay? Yeah. That's, yeah. For me, that's Grandma like... Grandma earns a little bit more respect right. and longevity. But you know, your Got auntie it. understands. She's like, ha ha, that's that thing, right? It's mine. Ha ha, I got you, girl. I, I got you. I like her. <laughs> Am I wrong for saying, I think it's on you, whatever you feel. Like, different relationships do different things. There's been people that you could be with for years and you don't want to bring them around. There's people you've been with for months and you're like, I want to introduce you to my parents. So I think every situation is different. In this case, I think sometimes this is a great learning lesson. Uh -huh. Stop telling everybody your business and what happens in your relationship. But yeah. you know, it's the holiday and yeah, people because... are naturally nosy, so they yes. want to know who you with. And if you don't bring somebody, they be looking at you all cross-eyed yes. like, why you, you know, what is you yeah, now? Yeah, but if you talk and bad stuff. about that person and then you guys get back together, that's why your family's mad because they heard all the bad things he did to you, which, by the way, you definitely only told your side of the story. Right. Well, yes. I will tell you this. If you do bring somebody, before you bring that person, tell that person everything about your family, okay? That's what I was going to say. Really? You yes. know, yeah. My family yeah. will straight up judge everything about you. They'll watch where you go. They watch what you say. Like, but my Good family's so funny. Like, <laughs> they, they love roasting. They love roasting people. So when I bring people, I really bring you to put you in the pit of fire just to see if you can really hang and handle yourself, you know? Okay. Because, like, let's say, for example, if we have chicken wings, if you eat the chicken wings and you leave, the grizzle on the side, mm -hmm. my family will absolutely say, he eat like the white people. I don't like that. You eat all the way. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? So like, right. They're going to say that. that. They're going to be real. And you got to be ready for that. If you can't handle my family's roast, you ain't meant to be in there. Yeah, you got to let, let them know. Yeah, you got to let my them know. Mama Darlene, she did not play. Like, if I had a guy I was dating and I wasn't serious about him, she, she wouldn't want him to come over. Ooh. I haven't met my brother Tavir's girlfriends in like four years. And it's because she's like, are you serious about this chick? And Tavir's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then she would be like, okay, well then I don't want to invest my time because my mom, you guys, oh my gosh, she has the gift of discernment. Mm -hmm. And I used to be so afraid to bring a boyfriend by because I knew she, her and my grandma, they would tell me the truth. I remember just showing my grandmother a picture of my college boyfriend. And she was like, no, that ain't it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not telling you anything. So I would make sure that I was 100% serious about the relationship before I would bring them over to my family See, this, at all. Got this it. is what I say about relationships during the holiday time. You know if a person really care about you the way they treat you during the holiday oh, time. Yes. And if you not
not being invited to the, to the family dinners and gatherings, you might really need to understand what's your place in that relationship. Yes. Yep. That's, yes. And that's on serious. Yeah, there's so much that can go on where you can really watch how they introduce you to the mm -hmm. others, how much they share the good things about you. I like you know them old mean? players. Them old players, they don't care. You know, this is my lady friend, G. <laughs> my, my lady friend. It. Well, we <laughs> asked you guys, at what stage in dating is it appropriate to bring someone around for the holidays? And at K. Coley said, when you're pregnant or if not pregnant after a year. What? Huh? Huh? What is Coley talking about? I don't know. When you're pregnant <laughs> or if gonna... not pregnant after a year. When okay. you're pregnant or if not pregnant. What does that mean? Uh, I, that that's... means if they're not married and they... this person is pregnant and she's like, I'm important because I'm carrying your child. You better bring me <laughs> over to your family's house. Maybe it means that, and maybe a year if the person is, is not, not pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. Okay, I, maybe I figured it out. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> that was hard. The, the Instagram whisperer to <laughs> right. Mary Okay, okay. Like, it's not no limit knew? on that. You could just tell us exactly what <laughs> no. you mean. Yes, we gotta absolutely. figure it out. Thank you, Tamara. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, something else that's stressful during the holidays is traveling. Yes. Yes, and adding a young child to the mix can make it even harder, mm -hmm. trust me, I know. May Rui, a cancer researcher and Grammy-nominated concert pianist, was traveling with her two-year-old son and elderly parents on a Spirit Airline flight from Houston to New York when things quickly turned into a nightmare. Uh -oh. The way y'all look at yes. when she said Spirit, I, I'm done. I, this is the real, and this audience is too real. So you guys are not wow. feeling what do you Spirit expect? Airline. <laughs> I've not ridden okay. on Spirit. How Me I neither. Why are y'all making that face? I want to go. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Well, all right. All right. Rui was in the process of breastfeeding her two-year-old son while her plane was being delayed. It was delayed and grounded when she claims flight attendants told her to stop breastfeeding and place her son in a seat. Despite Rui pleading for more time to breastfeed, she eventually placed her son in his seat where he immediately began crying. Rui claims it was then that the crew forced her to leave the plane, telling her that she was not being compliant. Here's the video she shot following her. Captain and I decided that we because would, the baby um, was we crying. Would, we would deplane the aircraft because the baby was crying. Right. So you, you're saying you can get you can get rid of a family because the toddler was crying while strapped in his seat. I didn't say that. So why were we getting why you why were, were we chased off the flight crew instructions? Well, Spirit did issue a statement saying, in part, quote, FAA regulations and airline policies require all passengers to stay seated and buckled during takeoff and landing. We apologize for any inconvenience, and as a courtesy, we've issued a full refund to the passenger. <laughs> refund. Oh. I know, like that's twenty seven ninety nine. Right. What is that? Oh, I don't. I'm just asking. I do not know, know they're cheap. I don't know. So <laughs> I know how the audience feels about spirit. So, ladies, do you guys it's, think it's not about this, spirit? It's okay. It's well, not do you about guys the airline. think? Do you think things should have been handled a little, a little differently? It's not about spirit. Okay, okay Lonnie, I, I want to get off of that because the point is, is it compliance? And that's any airline. And if you're not complying, and we got to realize, you guys, it's the holidays. It's a lot of people stressed, mm -hmm. including the people that are working for any airline. And we don't know the other half of that video. Yes. This is just this is the this is the half afterwards. We don't know really what happened before. I'm just trying to give y'all another perspective. No, I'm with you because at just, the end of the day. When the plane takes off, everybody has to be seated. Yeah, Even everybody if you have to has pee, to you can't in. get up and go to the bathroom. You don't have a right to hold up every, like 300 people on a plane, the schedule they have on the tarmac, the people that have to make the layover, the people that have their schedules in order to arrive safely. So if your butt is not in the plane and you are not complying, I agree, walk the plank. Like, I've, let's go. I've, but, but I have experienced this because yes, when a two year old is, you know, becomes two, they have to sit in their own yes. seat. Right. And sometimes that's a hard transition. Mm -hmm. It happened to Araya, and yes, she had to stay in the seat. I remember the flight attendant coming up to me saying, ma'am, 
we've got to take off. And Araya was screaming and yelling. Okay. And she said, we can't take off until yeah. your child is in the seat. And we yeah. were already delayed. There were uh, passengers who had connecting flights mm -hmm. and I didn't want to inconvenience them. So I was like, Araya, girl, you gonna have to figure this out. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I put her in the seat. She, you guys, yelled and screamed all the way up Oof. until we, you know, were cool. But, you know, she, she, she and learned. And I've experienced that. Yes, however, the only thing, there's, there's, there's um, holes in the story because she said, she said that the door wasn't even closed yet and there were passengers still walking Morning. by. And there are some flight attendants who are just mean sometimes <laughs> yeah. with kids. I've experienced it. My son had an iPad. You know, having an iPad just helps things move along when you're on the flight. And this, and there was a flight attendant who said, uh, I'm sorry, your son cannot watch that unless he has headphones. And I was like, what? Well, this is the first time I've heard about this. We we fly all the time. She was like, no, people are complaining that it's too loud. I'm like, we didn't even turn the thing on yet. I know. So I think it just, it, 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 I think I there's things. I think we're going to continue. Let's yeah. continue. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes.